Alrighty you guys, got another video here for you. This one is setting up your TerraMaster F2-220 and uh, this is an awesome uh, NAS storage device and it's also £20 off from using the coupon code which I'll leave in the description. And also if you want to see the full review I'll leave the link at the top of the video. Now also you can see here all you need to do here is remove the uh, caddy tray here and you need to screw your hard drives into this. Pretty straightforward need to do. Just line up the uh, drives and then screw them down and that's it. Once you've done that you can then uh, push those into your NAS storage device. And again I've done a full review on this uh, unit as well. Uh, to remove these you just pull the little plastic catch here and out comes the uh, drive and the caddy and this is hot swappable and to push it back in you just push the bottom part and then push the little catch down like so. Now you've got your drives uh, plugged in what you need to do is get your cable your ethernet cable and your power lead so we're just going to plug the ethernet cable into the back of the uh, NAS drive and then put the other one into a free port on your router. Now also you need to put in your power to your uh, NAS storage device here so we're just going to quickly stick that in and then power her on and you should see all the green lights going uh, one for power one for LAN and the two hard drives should be flickering like so and that means we have got power to our unit and now we can put on our software so we need to go to the website and download the right operating system here you can see this is it here we've got tcloud and also tos which is the tnas operating system which you need to download okay and uh, you need to make sure you select the model number which is the f2 nas2 if you've got this version and it will allow you to download it for windows and mac os as well okay depending on what you're doing so i've started to download mine and uh, once we've got these download we can start to install them it does come with an installation guide on their website as well and i will put that link in the description for you as well to make it easier for you to find now you should see an executable file in there just run this okay and then we should be pretty much good to go now, if you haven't got a, a, a zipping program you can use 7-zip it's a free program you can use to zip the file click ok and then click next and then install I've speeded this process up here. Now we can click on run to run the actual program to start to install our operating system. So all we need to do here now is click on finish and leave the tick in run TNAS. This will start to run the TNAS software. Now you can see it's scanning the network to try and find our drive and you can see the name will populate in a moment and then also the IP and the MAC address which is the uh, MAC address which has been covered up here and the IP address has been covered up for this actual device. So you don't have to worry about the IP and the MAC address here just all you need to do is click on the TOS login or the cloud login depending on what you want to set up okay so we're going to go for the TOS login here and you will get the uh, initialization TOS welcome and then you click on the start button click on next and this will then scan your hard drives to make sure the hard drives are compatible and they're working correctly as you can see it's going to start to check these these are brand new drives and you can see the drives are in good working order if you're using old drives they may come up faulty if they're not um, in good shape we're going to be using the auto download and install TOS system which is recommended and then all you need to do here is click on next click on next and you'll see data on the hard drive one and hard drive two will be deleted make sure that you don't have data on there that you want to keep because it will be formatted and wiped Now this can take up to 10 minutes sometimes a bit longer depending on what type of drives you've got it will then want to restart your TNAS and it will then offer you the login page so it's just going to start to load up now and here we have our device name this is where you can change your device name to what you want now there is a restriction on the amount of characters you can use here so keep it simple uh, but I'm just going to call mine something simple like TM NAS dash home and that will be something sufficient for me now also you can choose your time zone depending on where you are in the world you just use your time zone and I'm going to be using the London time zone here and then once we've got that all set up we can then click on next so once we've done this it will move on to the next stage where it wants you to put in a password for your uh, account and your also your email 
and also a verification code. So you click on send verification code and they will send you one and you use that to register your product. Now you can set up your RAID. I'm going to be using RAID 1 here, but if you want it just as a storage device, which is a bit pointless really, but if you're going to do like single disk, it means you're going to end up with six terabytes of storage. RAID will use three terabytes as a backup and three terabytes is your main uh, storage. So basically it's going to clone all your information to the other drive. So if one drive fails, it will automatically have a backup of that on another drive. So here we're basically going to format our RAID and get it ready. And uh, once that's done, we can then log in with the username, username and password which we created. And uh, don't make it too difficult where you can't remember it, guys. But make it hard enough for people to guess. And then once that's done, you'd log in and there you are. You should be at your uh, TNASI's operating system. And here you can set up your file management and whatever you want to do with your NAS, whether you're using it as a media service uh, for your home network for all your movies and TV shows or whether a file server or email server or just keeping data on there for your friends and family or for yourself. It doesn't matter what you use it for, but it's pretty easy to set up. You can just go into your file manager and set this up as private or public depending on what you want to do. So you'll have admin, which is the private area for yourself and also public, which means for the outside world, which you can share files with anyone uh, as well. And you can also put other directories and folders and files inside here. Pretty easy to do self-explanatory. You can see their new folder, uh, new file, upload and all that sort of stuff is at the top there. And uh, you could just create loads of this stuff here. And you can see this is the public directory. And also this is your own personal uh, private area. And uh, this can be accessed uh, anywhere around the world uh, once you know the information to log in. And you can set up user accounts. Up to 1,000 user accounts can be set up for this. Uh, so you'll be able to log in anywhere you like. So you can end up with an iTunes uh, music server or anything you want really. And uh, applications, this is where you can install your applications uh, for your NAS drive, as you can see here. And there's loads of applications on here, depending on what we want to do. And you can see uh, we have DLNA, media server, uh, net to FTP. Uh, there's loads of goodies on here, which you can use. Uh, Java Virtual Machine, also Plex Media Server, which is for all your media stuff like uh, your TV shows and stuff like that. You've got Dropbox Sync here and Media Server as well, iTunes Server. And you can see there's loads of good uh, stuff on here. And they'll be adding more to this uh, in later dates, as you can see, and also Mail Server there as well. And these are just the recommended ones that you can use but I'm pretty sure that you'll find that there's plenty there for you to use there. Now also you can set up your users here and this is where you can set up users or user groups uh, for your NAS storage device. So if you had uh, your mum and dad or family, they can set it up in that location there. Pretty easy to do. If you want to see how to do that, then let me know and I'll, I'll make another video showing you how to do that. But it is pretty self-explanatory. So that was the Terramaster F2 220 setup. And as you can see, it's great for small businesses, home cloud storage, and also you can see it's got an Intel dual core 2.4 CPU and also two gigabytes of memory and six up to 16 terabytes of storage on this one. And also if you want to get your hands on one of these, you will get that 20 pound discount code, which will allow you to get this for such a cheap price. It's a, it's a steal really. It's a decent better kit and it's very well built and it's a, I like it a lot. It's really a nice little NAS storage device. Um, if you want to get yourself into the NAS field and start to, back up then this could be the answer for you. We'll leave all the information and the links in the description below and uh, if you want to get the links to the uh, drives that I used I will leave those in the uh, video description as well. Now you can see here you can set up uh, multiple raids and also various server applications like uh, MySQL database also the mail server and also you've got media servers, FTP servers, web server, a remote um, remote server as well you can set up on here storage space sharing which you can see it does and also it it does a lot of other stuff here which you can set up yourself and it's so so easy to do multiple multiple file sharing services as well as you can see here on the screen it offers a variety of backup methods 
which is pretty nice as well. And you've also got that extendable storage when you can put in your USB uh, drives as well, external drives, and plug them into it if you wanted to do that. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.